Hey guys, Steph here. Nighttime vlog. This is going to be a total nerd talk here. So one of the things I keep stressing in a lot of my videos is that the fundamentals are a key difference. Well, excuse me, let me restate that. The understanding of the fundamentals is a key difference between the great coders and the not so great coders. If you have a real solid understanding under, under, of the fundamental principles and techniques and concepts behind coding, behind writing software, then you will be good regardless of the language. And that's why I said in a previous vlog that it's more important that you understand the fundamentals really well than you understand the latest, greatest framework that's out or the latest, greatest libraries that's out. Because at the end of the day, it always comes back down to the fundamentals. The fundamentals include, you know, the basics like variables and arrays and functions, functions, methods, depending on the type of language, um, iterators, design patterns, good coding conventions, good naming conventions, etc., etc., etc. These are the things that really separate the gray coders from the bad coders. And in fact, you could take a gray coder and put them on, on a pretty primitive framework or language and they'll produce a better app than uh, a beginner or intermediate level coder who has the latest and greatest frameworks under their belt. Uh, or excuse me, or they're using the latest and greatest framework. It really, it comes down to that. So let me give you a concrete example about fundamentals in software development. One of the basic design patterns. Now, the design pattern is a way of organizing your code. One of the basic design patterns that most of the languages out there, most of the communities, uh, regardless of the language, PHP, Python, Ruby, uh, Java, C Sharp, etc., etc., they've all adopted something called model view controller. Model view controller is a way of separating your code up into logical units, three units, the model, the views, and the controllers. And there's all kinds of benefits. Now, I'm not gonna teach model view controller in this particular video. I've done that in others. The point is, is that if you are a, an accomplished developer, an accomplished programmer, you're gonna have a fundamental and a very good understanding of model view controller. Nerds will just call it MVC. And with that fundamental understanding of model view controller, you'll be able to adapt that, adapt that, use that skill, that understanding rather, in any API, excuse me, in any language that you happen to jump into. So you may learn model view controller in PHP. And then you graduate or you go into a Java-based environment. I said graduate because Java is a more complex language than PHP. So let's say you learned your model view controller, you learned that design pattern in PHP, you jump into Java, you learn a little bit more about Java and how it works, but you understand MVC. So you can jump into any MVC based system in Java and you'll be pretty comfortable. And if you're advanced and you understand how to use MVC properly, you will execute your Java MVC just as well. Same thing if you went into MVC on Python or MVC on Ruby, or you know what I mean? You get the idea. So there is an example of a fundamental principle, fundamental, what well, they call it a design pattern, a fundamental way of coding, and uh, that's agreed upon in most situations is the way to do your, your basic app development. Well, that's the basic structure you should use. And regardless of the language, you understand that fundamental and it applies to every single language. It's kind of like learning how to drive a car. If you're learning how, if you learn how to drive a Porsche and how to handle rainy conditions on a port with, with a Porsche rather, you'll be able to handle rainy conditions fairly well in any car that you use. Yes, there are differences here and there because BMW may handle differently and Audi may handle differently to a certain extent. But once you understand how to drive on a slick, rainy surface, you'll be able to drive in that environment, regardless of the vehicle that you happen to be using. In this analogy, the vehicle, of course, represents the programming language or the framework. 
And there you go. I hope this uh, little tech talk helps. We're going to see some more stuff. I think I'm going to release some more Python material soon, just because I feel like it. But my main focus now is going to be in, uh, well, it's going to be shifting towards the business end of code and business, small business, well, starting a business, and uh, social media marketing and content marketing as well. I figure, um, I figure I I have all my basics covered in my courses on my coding languages. I've done I've done HTML5, CSS3. I teach responsive layout, modern HTML uh, structures. I also taught. I have a, a very thorough class in JavaScript where I teach. Uh, you know, all the solid fundamentals in JavaScript where you're doing validations, animations, and drawing with JavaScript. And then I teach uh, PHP where I teach server-side programming with PHP. You see, with these languages, they're vehicles that teach you s certain things. So for instance, I use JavaScript to teach you certain basics of programming that apply to all languages. With PHP, I teach the same concepts, but I also teach server-side programming so that's because that's what PHP is. If you don't know what that is, take my PHP course. So in my PHP course, for, exa for example, you're not just learning PHP. You're learning server-side programming. Uh, then I just completed a Python course, where in the Python course I'm teaching more things. I go deeper into object-oriented programming, some more advanced principles. And the idea behind my course is, is that once you've done them, you won't need any real tutorials after that because regardless of the framework, regardless of uh, what you want to do, having a solid understanding of the basics, you will be able to approach any project pretty easily. And you'll be able to use a lot of those uh, walkthroughs that you see on YouTube or other places where they're not really teaching, they're just sort of walking through the code. But because you've done my courses, it doesn't matter if they're just doing walkthroughs. It will be understandable to you, you'll be able to pursue that. So when I teach, I'm not only teaching you the basic structures and techniques, I'm also teaching you how to learn. And at the end of the day, I can tell you, remembering all the nuances and the details about this framework or that framework, at the end of the day, it's not very important in programming because you can just look that up like this on Google, right? And get the answer. Oh, what's the syntax to do X, Y, and Z in Python? That's easy. What's the syntax? What's the library to be able to do this in Java? Oh, here it is. That's easy to look up. What makes you an expert programmer is understanding how to use those libraries and how to structure your code in an expert way. Ciao, ciao. Actually, I said ciao, ciao, but this is where one of my martial art analogies really comes into play. And this is actually where I understood this years and years ago, well, a decade or two ago or three. In martial arts, for instance, I could teach you a combination. I could teach you jab, jab, cross, right? And I'm throwing these really badly just because, you know, I'm just, whatever, I'm tired. So it's jab, jab, draw, jab, jab, cross, right? Now, you, you learn this in kickboxing, you can learn this in tie boxing, you can learn in boxing. Now, the combination itself is, eh, it's fine. You learn jab, jab, cross. But to be able to throw that punch properly, so it's properly executed. There's a lot of subtlety and nuance that you won't understand until you've done the training with a good coach. That is kind of like programming, right? Where just because you know what the framework does and how it works, and a framework is just a series of techniques stitched together, right? Jab, jab, cross, right? I don't know if that makes any sense. But if you can't execute that technique, that combo, one, one, two, what, one, one, to. If you don't know how to execute properly and at the right time, no good. So any fool off the street, as my boxing coach used to say, you can teach him how to throw, you can teach him that combination, jab, jab, cross, in you know two seconds. And they'll be able to go jab, jab, cross. But they're going to execute that technique, that combination, terribly. It's going to be terrible. You know. Meanwhile, it takes years and years and years of really good coaching and training to be able to execute each of those punches properly so they're effective. So when the expert fighter, the pro fighter executes his jab, jab, cross, it's going to be far more effective and far more dangerous than just some bum off the street or some noob, right? I hope that makes sense. Same thing with programming, by the way.
you know? All right, that's it, Joe.